It's a mix of tech enthusiasts and civic-minded individuals at the Lagos Digital Democracy Fair, where the aim is to spotlight tech innovations that empower citizens to engage with the government, demand accountability, and take meaningful civic action. The fair, a collaborative effort between Yaga Africa's Turn Up Democracy Initiative and Civic Hive, isn't just about showcasing fancy gadgets. It's about leveraging technology to strengthen democracy and ensure accountability. It is designed to provide a platform to showcase civic tech innovations that either promote civic education and promote demand for accountability um, and then promote civic engagement. So what, you are, what we have today is we have over 12 innovators, people who have tech solutions. Um, for instance, there's one around how to dispel disinformation, things around how to protect human rights or report human rights abuse, things like how to hold the government to account based on their promises during the elections. And the idea of the fair is in the pre-elections phase, we hosted a civic tech camp that looked at young people who use digital tools to promote civic youth participation in the election. So after elections, what next? And so this time around, the tools that people are showcasing is basically what they've designed that can promote citizens' engagement with the government at the federal level, at the state level, and at the local government level. And we have over 12 innovators, and most of them from the southwestern part. Like you see, this is happening in Lagos. The idea is subsequently we can scale it at the national level. From apps facilitating citizen government communication to platforms promoting civic engagement, the Digital Democracy Fair is a hub for tech innovators and civic actors to collaborate for social change. The app is, is actually developed for people to have access to report cases of abuse, especially relate, those related to abuse of human rights. This come extension will help you spotlight a speech issues and we intend to work with uh, platform owners to ensure that these speech are not amplified. The, the Truly Verify Africa, a mobile responsive site that is supposed to empower Nigerians from 18 years and above to stop the spread of misinformation and fake news. Um, leading up to not just only 2023 elections but also post-general elections. It is also an avenue to identify new opportunities for improving citizens' engagement with public officials and improve understanding of the impact of digital transformation on democracy and public participation. The most critical thing is that we see a lot of activity um, in the digital space. You see a lot of activity, you see a lot of activity on social media. How do you turn that into practical action? Um, how do you get young people to, to really engage um, and to transfer that work from, from the digital platforms um, into, into the, the democratic arena to really engage with different levels of accountability, um, different levels of governance? of the governance process. The Lagos Digital Democracy Fair encourages civil society organizations, civic actors and tech innovators to leverage digital tools to address issues such as civic participation, governance and public accountability.